There you go, the propellers. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's doing it. Oh, I should have listened to him. I should have listened to him. <laughs> oh, does this thing have a reverse? What the heck? That's amazing. Okay, so three and four are the rolls, so I can roll a little bit, little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. All right, I bet you guys have never seen a scooter jump a canyon. Well, I haven't either, and I'm pretty sure this is going to end very bad. <laughs> yep, oh, <gasps> whoa, <laughs> no, 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 no. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today we are back checking out some very, very awesome viewer creations. Now most of these are from my Discord viewer creations tab. Uh, you guys have been kind of crazy as of recent as sending stuff over, so we're going to be checking some of that out. Uh, Micro City will be returning on the weekend. Uh, we do have a kind of a special Christmas episode planned, so hopefully you guys tune in to that. But yeah, all the uh, workshop creations are going to be down in the description if you want to check those out. And if you are enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. It helps out my channel, and let's jump right into this. Alright, so we're going to start off pretty big here today, folks. Uh, we're going to start off with this huge hovercraft. Now, in the description, it said to probably spawn this in a flat world, but I do want to go ahead and try it out in the terrain world here. Now, there's something very special about this hovercraft. And it's the whole fact that this thing is made completely out of vanilla parts. Uh, which is pretty impressive considering the size and just the way it looks and the shape they've achieved. But yeah, let's go and pull out the lift here. This is by Dodo Man. This is a hovercraft, does not use any mods. Uh, it was designed by him and the engineering was by, I don't know how to say that, it's VIGU0505. It is WASD controlled. So yeah, how do we get into this thing? Uh, it's leaning a little bit forward, but it's trying to keep up with the terrain. I don't know if it's using, uh, it's using a sensor stabilization. You can see it right there and on the other side, and probably there's one in the front. This is actually really cool looking. Uh, I don't know if this is like a commercial craft. It doesn't look like a military craft from the, uh, the color scheme. Uh, but question is, how do we get in it? You know what? We're going to do this old fashioned way. Let's go ahead and. Hit that, hop up on that, and boom, we are on deck, or we're on buoy, whatever you want to call this. Oh, there's a lot of switches. Oh, dear, this thing is, this is a busy, busy spider web here. Okay, so let's start hitting stuff, because that's what I like to do. So it looks like this could be the engines here. Little compartment, let's stand to the side. I think this is a side compartment, so those all open up. Uh, what is this? Oh, is this a hatch to get, oh! Is this how we get down? Oh yeah, okay, so here is all of the thrusters that are going off. This is what is making this thing tick. It's actually uh, quite impressive, so let's hop up into that. Uh, I love hovercraft. I like creating them. It's just been a while since I've actually created one of these. All right, so it looks like you have like a little life buoy here that says, is it say fin on it? I don't know. I think that's what it says. Uh, you can kind of walk around. I, I wouldn't say this is actually a deck. Oh, there's a door right here. Uh, let's wait to go inside. I think the inside is really detailed. Uh, but yeah, this looks like a, the same thing that's on the other side. So let's go ahead and hop up here. Uh, I think I saw a side door. Here it is. All right, so let's hit that. Pop that open there. Okay, so here is the uh, interior. Oh, look at this. This is like a commercial craft. It's got like a little bar area here. Uh, looks like you got your drinks, you got your ducks. That's pretty fantastic. Let's go ahead and close that. Uh, oh, he's using some of the newer parts. You know, I've never used these parts. You have like the exit signs. Um, kind of surprised he didn't use the doors that come with the uh, the new... Actually, I think the doors might be bigger than this. Uh, you have a new door and scrap mechanic. There's several things. I think they're coming from the uh, the workshops or the little factories that the farm bots are going to be in in survival. Uh, here's your... I don't want to call it a porter, John, but that's your uh, it's toilet there. Uh, we've got tons of seating in here. This looks really fantastic. Uh, wait, question is, where do we, uh, where's the captain? How do we get to the captain's area? Alright, so this is the, uh, entrance that we saw. Oh, that's a cool entrance. Alright, let's go ahead and walk back out here. See, so yeah, this is the entrance that we saw when we walked around on deck. Question is, how do we get up here, like, the real way? Not climbing up the side of it. Is there, is that a thing, or do we have to walk up the side? Is there stairs? Uh, oh, 
Yeah, this thing definitely says Finn. Is this a company? Anybody want to comment below? Let me know. I'm not really sure what this is. Uh, let's go ahead and pop open this side door here and see what the captain's quarters look like. All right, let's go ahead and close this. Every good captain has a little duck over there, so you can see the duck on the table. And this is not bad. This is a really good view. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's just hit... Oh, there's only really two buttons. You got the... I think the radar is two and... Yep, one is the horn. So, let's see how this thing drives. This is about as far as I can make this camera go out. There you go, the propellers. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, it's doing it. Oh, I should have listened to him. I should have listened to him. <laughs> oh, does this thing have a reverse? That's a, that's a good question. Uh, oh, it does. It's kind of slow, but yeah, it does have a reverse. Let's go ahead. I think I can shimmy myself out of this. If I can get to the outer ring of the map, we'll be fine. I uh, just wanted to see how this works on the terrain world. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and hit the forward key there. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. Love me some hovercraft. Uh, it is bottoming out a little bit. Uh, admittedly, that is kind of my mistake for doing this on this type of world. But, yeah, that's the thing. You know what? Uh, maybe we should take this out to a terrain world. I feel kind of bad. I don't want to make the creation look bad because I, I spawned it in here like an idiot. Alright, so we're truly going to get to test out this hovercraft. And oh yeah, that is, that's super stable. You know, oh, I was going to say that maybe this was gliding on the, uh, the tires, but it looks like there's about a block clearance on all the tires there. Now question is, does this throw off balance, say if I turn kind of hard? No, that is beautiful. That is very, very well balanced. I must say, I'm actually quite impressed by this. Uh, this feels great. Uh, let's go ahead and get forward. Let's go forward here. Got to turn that radar back on. Give the horn a little honk. Uh, if Scrap Mechanic ever gets, like, water or something, this would be kind of cool to see this on top of it. I wonder how that would work. If Scrap Mechanic actually got water or something, would that be actual real water? Or would it be, like, the mod water that we have... Uh, that would look kind of cool anyways if I were to get the Durf mod out and just hover over this. I know a lot of these hover over land, but these can do both, which would be kind of cool. So, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing over here. So, yeah, you can see the propellers moving in the back. You can see the, uh, I guess they're called the tail rudders. They're moving uh, when you turn left and right. Yeah, I really expect to see this thing on the top of the workshop soon. This thing is way too fantastic to not be up there. Plus, I do give him a lot of props, the whole fact that this is completely vanilla. Uh, he's achieved a really awesome looking shape with just vanilla parts. So, anyways, I want to thank him for sending that over. If you want to check that out, it's down in the description. But yeah, let's move on to the next creation. Alright, we are back from that awesome hovercraft. We're ready to check out the next creation here. And the next creation, I don't really know what it is. It's by Blue Flame. I thought it was kind of, uh, it was kind of neat looking. I want to see what actually happens when we spawn it. It's called the Pointing Finger. So, Mr. Blue Flame, a very awesome Discord member. It's a finger that always tries to point at you as long as you stand within 10 blocks. So, yeah. What? Okay, so let's see. What? What is going on here? Alright, so I see the sensors. It's like a little radar. And I guess it's going to detect the player. So if I stand here. Uh, here? <laughs> What the heck? All right, so it's sensor hits. I think it's this bottom sensor when it hits. Yep. Okay. Let's go over here. Are you going to keep pointing at me? I'm trying to figure out how this works. This is like one of those logic creations where I have no clue what's happening. I know it's just pointing at me. It's like a... feels like a mom or something. Like it's just scolding me. Stand over here. Uh, stand over here. This is odd. <laughs> This is really odd. Yeah, this just feels like one of those random creations that you just show off just to be like, hey, yeah, this is a thing. Somebody spent some time in Scrap Mechanic and they built this, which is actually quite a impressive little creation here. And just think about it. I don't know how long he spent on this. It could have been hours. It could have been two or three hours. But he did that because he wanted to build a machine that points at you because that's a thing. Man, I love Scrap Mechanic creators and the stuff that comes out. <laughs> That's amazing. So yeah, I don't know if I have much of a use for it, but, you know, 
You always kind of need a finger pointed at you every once in a while. Uh, that is the finger pointer by Mr. Blue Flame. Okay, so for our next creator here, we have the very talented Lord Payne. Now, you hear me talk about Lord Payne quite a bit. Uh, he does have a YouTube channel, which I will link down in the description, plus his workshop. But most likely, you've heard of him. You've probably, if you've used his mods, you know about him, you have some of his parts downloaded. Well, he's also a fantastic builder in Scrap Mechanic, and he sent over several creations, and I picked up my favorite ones here. Uh, we've got a hoverboard, and as soon as it loads up on the lift here. Yeah, we have a realistic hoverboard, and I guess this is, are these the exploding hoverboards? I don't know, I, I can't, I couldn't imagine myself using this. I'm trying to look at what this is. Uh, I'm mostly intrigued by this. So it looks like you got tip forward, tip backwards, roll left, right, hover mode, fly. Okay, I don't think normally uh, hoverboards fly, but I don't know. Let's give this a shot here. Uh, okay, wait. Oh, how do you fit that much in a tiny creation like that? That's that's insane. Okay, let's go ahead. Is this actually hovering right now? Is that is that a thing? No, it's not. Okay, so hmm. Oh, what? What? Okay, um, let's go hover mode. No, that's, is that fly mode or is that, oh, this is hover mode. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, no, 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 hit W. All right. Oh, let's, let's kill this real quick. Let's go back down. I am a little high, I would say. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. So if I tip forward, oh, that makes it go forward. Okay. And you can use W to try to keep yourself. I wonder if, does it have some sort of stabilization as far as if I get to the ground or get too close? What happens? Oh, it does. What the heck? That's amazing. Okay, so three and four are the rolls. So I can roll a little bit, little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. But your main turning is apparently it's a suspension glitch. So it's AD. Let's see what type of speed can we get on a hoverboard here? Oh, this doesn't feel safe. Oh, that's a rock. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go a little forward. How would you balance yourself on this? <laughs> let's go back over here. You know, when I when he said hoverboard, when I saw it in the description, I picture one of those little ones that you see a lot of the YouTube fills on uh, with the wheels. You get some old person on there or a parent. You stick them on there. They stand on it. And the next thing you know, they're on the back and it's funny. Yeah, I would never do that. I have no sense of balance. I tried to skateboard once, and I was terrible at it. So, yeah, you'll never see me on one of those videos. I do like to watch them, though. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not talented enough to balance. I can imagine if you had something like this, this would be ridiculous. Maybe this is what we're going to get in the future, folks. This would be, uh... Yeah, I still wouldn't do it, because I'd run into a tree, but... This is pretty amazing. Uh, let's get some more speed here. Uh, let's go ahead and see... Oh, yeah! <laughs> He looks terrified. Yeah, I would be too, buddy. Uh, let's go ahead. Uh oh, 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 that's a wall. Okay, let's see. Oh, I think. We wow, we made it to the top really fast. Oh, and let's go. This is a full-on flying creation too. Yeah, look at this. All right, let's turn left here. Do some sick tricks. Maybe we need to get some sort of hover course. Wee. <laughs> <laughs> we can do flips. Hold on, let's see if we can get this going fast. This is actually kind of cool. This, uh, I think this would be really awesome to see with the hover course. If we can get some sort of like skate, or I guess I should say hover course, or maybe a what, what? Okay. Yeah, we're playing the game wrong. But yeah, if you can get some sort of a hover course or something, or a, like a skate park, uh, I think this would be pretty fun to play with. So, yeah, that is a uh, that is something that is very awesome. We're gonna go ahead and kill that, and we're gonna go over to his next creations here. Oh yeah, that's cool. All right, so for the uh, next creation here, we've got another one by Lord Payne. This is a Vespa, like a little scooter. This is another item that I kind of always wanted, and I know I wouldn't be able to do because I have no sense of balance. Even though these things kind of balance themselves once you get going, but yeah, this is actually really cool looking. Let's go ahead and spawn this out. Uh, okay. Is it, it balances? Hold on. What are we using to balance here? Uh, I'm always intrigued by these. Uh, wait. What is it? How is this thing balancing? Hold on. Let's uh, let's hop on it real quick. Okay. One's the horn. Two's the lights. That's it. Um. What? 
Okay, there's got to be some sort of stabilization. Is there a new block or something that does this? Because I really didn't spot it in there, but maybe there is. Dude, this is fantastic. Uh oh, got a little lag once we turned too hard. This is so stable. Okay, I'm going to take this off a ramp because I think that's going to be the best way to be able to tell uh, what type of stabilization is in here. Because uh, a lot of times if you jump one of these, it'll try to stay level in air and it, it looks a little odd. And you'll be able to tell. I just, I really can't tell from just looking at it though. Actually, look at that. Uh, that is, let me get down. The suspension, is that, that must be in one of his new parts there. Uh, the suspension is actually, looks like a, a bit of like a shock or something. That is uh, kind of cool. There's a block right there. I'm not really sure. That's a, I'm assuming that's a light block or what is that? That's hooked into the one. Oh, that's the horn. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm having a hard time spotting what's keeping this thing up. Okay, let's go ahead and hop back on it. Uh, there is a jump over here somewhere that we're going to hit. So we're going to go over here and hit this jump and see just what happens. Oh, I'm getting lag spikes with it. Oh, no, that is a... Oh, that's a cliff. Okay, we don't want to hit that. Um, all right, yeah, let's go around here. All right, I bet you guys have never seen a scooter jump a canyon. Well, I haven't either, and I'm pretty sure this is going to end very bad. <laughs> oh, oh. <gasps> Whoa! No, 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 no! Uh, hold on. Let's see if it stabilizes itself. Wait a minute. Yep. Okay. I'm confused. Yeah, there's something in here. Uh, I need to go through his uh, parts list. Uh, Lord Payne has been releasing a whole bunch of things as far as mods from different wheels to different uh, modular pieces. He, he's the one that did the uh, the engine mod too, which you can kind of make a... It has these little modular engine parts that you can put together. And I just think that's uh, absolutely fantastic. And his work, uh, his is probably one of the top modders as far as what I like to see in scrap mechanics. So, yeah, I want to thank him for sending this over. And we've got one more creation of his to check out real quick. Uh, I'm still kind of confused by how this thing works, but oh well. Okay, so we have one more creation by Lord Payne here. And I know you guys like to see helicopters as much as me. So we have something simply called the Awesome Helicopter. So, this thing's got a whole list of controls. You got, it's, actually, I want to say this is kind of similar to the hoverboard. Uh, you got a tip forward, tip backward, uh, roll controls, and there's a ready to fly button. Which, I don't know what that is. But I think we need to hit that first. So, let's go ahead and spawn this and, whoa. What the heck? Hold on. That is, uh, that is probably one of the more realistic helicopters that I've seen in Scrap Mechanics. Just as far as the looks. Hmm, question is, how does this thing work? Let's go ahead, pop that open. Okay, so that's the side doors. Is that, or do I have to climb up into here? Okay, so let's climb up into here. I think the six key is the doors. I like the whole fact that the light turns on when you open the doors up. That's really neat. Okay, so you've got that. We gotta hit five. So is this the engine startup? Oh. Oh, that is cool. Oh, that is a... Actually, what the heck is holding those blades on? That looks a little odd. Okay, let's go ahead and lift up. Oh, did you see that? Hold on, let's go back down. There's a sensor catching, I believe, the little sidestep. Or maybe it's a little bit extra landing. You can see the bars come out on the bottom. So if you go... Actually, what are those for? I guess they're sidesteps for the, uh, the side of the helicopter. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit, get a good view. Yeah, this feels like it's going to be just like the hoverboard. So there's that. Looks like we can tilt left, right. Let's go ahead and lean forward here. There we go. Oh, this is too fantastic. Oh, this is a fast helicopter too. Hold on. <laughs> oh, you know, people always ask for us to do like multiplayer helicopter stuff or multiplayer hover stuff. And people don't realize the way Scrap Mechanic is right now, the... Uh, the multiplayer and stuff like this, it's a, it's a little odd. Pretty much the host is going to be the only person that's going to be able to do it. So I know somebody's going to comment, hey, you got to take these out and race them, which would be fantastic to do. But it's uh, not really possible in the current state of Scrap Mechanic as far as the multiplayer. Uh, hopefully they fix that up before survival. But this would be another creation. If we can use the mods in survival, could you imagine having a helicopter? to go fight off the farm bots or to move your supplies around. Now that's the one thing that keeps me so excited about Scrap Mechanic. Oh no, that's a cliff. That's a cliff. <laughs> uh, yeah, if there's a uh, destruction physics in Scrap Mechanic too, that would be a, 
That would be a thing. I would probably cry after crashing this. Uh, thankfully, we have the lift. Oh yeah, this thing works like a charm. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite helicopters that I've experienced here in Scrap Mechanic. He's definitely got a, uh, I would say it's somewhat similar to a Moonbow way of using the helicopter. Except for, uh, yeah, I don't know if he's using stabilization, but this thing's like really, really super stable. So he might have a glitch in here, I'm not really sure. But I can completely spin this thing out <laughs> without it actually losing control. So uh, definitely awesome. Let's see if we can uh, touch down here. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> no, don't let Komodo, don't let Komodo fly your helicopters. Just put it that way. Anyways, that is a really cool creation, and we are ready to move on to the final one. Oh boy, this looks terrible. Okay, so we have our final creation here. This is by Nightshade. This is a Christmas plane, and I'm not really, I think I know what these controls mean. It says keep on or you will fall from the sky. So this is like another engine, kind of like the Lord Payne one. So you have to keep the one key on. Two is forward, three is tilt up, tilt down, tilt left or right. Okay, is it WASD? Oh, this thing kind of looks like a gift. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I actually, I really like the engine design. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is this piston powered? Whoa. No way. That is cool. So the uh, propeller is actually piston powered. I'm pretty sure this thing still goes off of, yeah, normal thrusters. But, yeah, that's cool. Uh, it kind of looks like an old, maybe a World War I plane. Kind of that transition period. It kind of looks like a World War II plane, but I don't know. It's a Christmas plane. I guess uh, we're going to spread some Christmas joy here. What the heck? Okay, so these are all the buttons. Let's go ahead and get into here. Okay, so let's fire this up. Let's see what this looks like. Uh, let's hit one. Okay, that's hovering. Two. Okay, two's forward. What makes the... Hmm. Hold on. Does that does that activate? Is that a, is that a thing? All right, let's hit that two key again. Let's get going. Let's uh, see if we can get up in the air here. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you can definitely feel you can feel the propeller a little bit. Uh, that's one thing. Uh, it's kind of hard to do sometimes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, uh oh. No, 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 no. No. Okay. Hold on. We need to reset real quick. Uh, I was kind of shocked that propeller once it fires up, it is. It does feel like it's throwing the plane off a little bit, like it's making it curve over to the left. Uh, let me make sure that's what's happening here. All right, here we go. So yeah, the propeller activates after you get a certain distance off the ground, and so does the landing gear. Uh, what does that look like? Oh, that looks so neat. Um, I don't know. It kind of it does curve over a little bit. Uh, let's see. Oh, that that roll is really aggressive. <laughs> really aggressive. Oh, yeah. I don't know how you would counter that besides countering it in the steering, as far as the pull that the uh, that the propeller gives. Uh, that's one thing, uh, whenever I created flying crafts, I would stick the uh, propeller on a controller and I would make it actually go kind of slow, and I'd put it on a loop, that way it would just be really slow, I mean it didn't look realistic, but uh, it definitely didn't pull, so this has got a little bit of a pull, but it's actually, it's really cool, I wish it wouldn't do that, see, so as soon as that propeller activates, it's a little too, okay, so it's a little to the left, so... Okay, we are up in the air once again. It does feel like this plane does have a little bit of WASD steering on it, which is kind of cool. There we go. Oh, up, 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 up. Hey, I think we're getting used to it a little bit. Ah, this looks so neat. I love watching that piston motor uh, turn that the propellers. Too bad uh, Scrap Mechanic didn't have some sort of aerodynamic model. I know I've said this before when we're doing flying creations, but uh, maybe that's something in the future. I really don't know. I think survival probably needs to come first, and uh-oh. Hold on, stabilize, stabilize, there we go. Yes, I definitely think survival needs to come first, and then maybe we'll worry about that aerodynamics and maybe that water that I've talked about. But yeah, that's going to probably wrap it up for this episode of Viewer Creations here in Scrap Mechanic. Oh, we just crashed again. Uh, if you want to check out any of the creations you saw here today, uh, the links will be down in the description. Also, Merry Christmas, even though we're not there yet. We will be having that... Uh, little Christmas special on the Micro City. Uh, that should be out on Saturday, so if you want to check that out. Also, we will be having more Brick Rigs, Disassembly, Beam NG, and several other games coming up very soon, so if you want to check those videos out too. But anyways, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel, and we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you!